So we just defeated Rodney and it is now time to head on down to Subhail City. We're gonna take a look at the Poke Gear. We got ourselves quite the journey ahead. We're gonna go through the Frost Hail Forest and into Subhail City. So there is a gym there and that should be some fun stuff. So let's head down this way. It does lead us to Route 18 and these guys are absolutely shredding the gnar. What is happening? I love skiing as much as I love Pokemon battles. Me too, kinda, except snowboarding because skiing is lame and snowboarders are way better. Alright, Iglo. These damn sturdy things are getting on my nerves, but it'll be okay. We can just brick break you, knock you down to sturdy, and Troll is definitely setting the bar pretty high here for the rest of the team. Got all the, all the way up to level 57 already, we're just putting in work. This thing has rock slide, so that's interesting. It is annoying that there's freaking hail all over the damn place. Also, I realized, I, I mentioned that Rodney's mount tree, I thought it turned into an ice type because it looked like he got a damn glacier on his back, fucking icebergs, but he even got hit by the hail, so it showed that he did not turn ice type, so that makes a lot of sense. Anyways, next is a Batik. Uh, we'll just stay in. I think we can handle, handle a Batik. Let's just go for a beat up. How about that? Beat that ass up. This thing looks like a shiny Pokemon. For some reason... That green just looks like an alternate color palette, but overall, pretty cool little bat guy. This guy's got all sorts of mons. The hail is doing its thing. Next is a Huskold. So, just another uh, another ghost buddy. Gonna hit us with a scary face. Ooh, I'm spooked. I like his, uh, I like his little chest kind of stripes thing going on. Huskold is a really cool mon. I wish I would have trained up mine. But, then again, it, it would have taken forever. Plus, that thing is way too frail. So, ooh, we get a little slippity slidey down there. And we can grab this here item before we head on out. It is an HP up. So, that's pretty useful. And we can also catch the first wild Pokemon we come across. So, if it's something new, we're going to go ahead and snag it. Our first encounter here is another Rudolph. We already have a Moofork. No idea. Why is this thing called Moofork? I literally do not understand. But, we already have one of you. And we actually have a shiny one of these things. So... We'll try one more time, in this patch of grass at least. At least, what is it gonna be? It's one of them mole ices. So we don't have one of these, uh, which is decent. It seems like this thing could turn into something really cool. We should try to catch you, buddy. Let's go ahead and hop into our buddy Happy. And we'll kind of go with the same idea as we did on our last ice thing that we caught. We're gonna give you a little quick attack. So it does have ice shard. That priority though, love to see it. Yeah, and it is really nice being in unhappy because we don't get hit by the hail. But we'll quick attack you one time at least. And we're probably going to go for two. As you can icicle crash me. So we don't really need another ice type, but, you know, like I always say, it's better to have a full box than a Nuzlocke than not have enough. There has been times when I miss on, I like pass up on encounters and I end up really needing them later. So you know what? We're going to take you. We have 54 Ultra Balls now because we stocked up last episode and we're looking, we're looking good. Rodney did mention to make sure we're stocked up st on items for this next route because it's probably going to be a pretty damn long one. And uh, I also believe that these things, the, uh, the Pokemon, or the, the animal this is based off is just the star-nosed mole, which is kind of funny. Carved through the ice sheets for fun, though sometimes they can accidentally dig through houses in snow-covered villages. Well... Let's go ahead and give you a nickname. You're like a little, you're like an ugly unicorn, so we're going to name you Uni. And uh, there you go, buddy. Young Uni, probably never going to get used, but we have one now, so there's that. Go ahead and slide down there, and this guy's shredding it. What's up, buddy? Out of my track. How are you even... What's he... Oh, he's... How are you snowboarding on the flat ground, sir? I'm confused, Herbert. <laughs> he has a Huskold, though. Yeah, these, uh, these skiers really do like their ice types. A lot of ice types lately. We've been kind of like a, a really long ice route, it seems like. Which is a good place for troll, because brick break is coming in handy, so we are not complaining. As it pretty much one hand, one shots everything. Also, we're gonna be close to level 60. We're getting there. Troll's getting over level. This Groot is actually making a little bit of progress as well. Love to see it. Next is a Puff Peak. Do we have we seen one of these? Is it the evolved? That is definitely the evolved form of we have seen what this thing his pre-evolution is. I'm assuming it's Ice Flying type, isn't it? We're gonna go for a beat up. As it actually has Signal Beam, which is surprising. But uh, beat up, looking like it's gonna be pretty close here. This is a really cool, I like this thing a lot. And beat up just does it with the sixth hit. 
Down you go, Mr. Puff Peak. And we are, uh, moving our way. I lost my track. Well, you're, you're snowboarding on flat ground here, sir. That's probably your problem. We are just going to hyper potion you back up to full, my friend. And we continue. So, basically just a whole bunch of skiers. Why don't you have a pair of skis? Cause that would actually be really cool if they allowed you to kind of like a cycling road on this area where you could just use like a pair of skis or preferably a snowboard, you know, but I think that would be that's a missed opportunity people that made Lunar Dark. All right, freaking igloos. These things don't even glow. Why is your name that? Ooh, this one doesn't have sturdy, so they have an alternate ability that they can get, which is kind of cool. Thank you for not having sturdy. That makes my life just a little bit easier. And next is a mole ice. So not a whole lot of variation on these ice types that we've been seeing. These things even have mold breaker. Reminds me of young Drillber. Down you go, little buddy. Do really like that thing's colors too, though. The blue and that white, looking fresh as hell. Young minty boy. All right, next is a sash crow. Okay, so never mind. We do have a little bit of variation. We have not seen one of these. What in the fuck is that? Mom says it's my turn on the Xbox. Oh my god. Well, Sass Crush, huh? Little Sasquatch boy, which is kind of cool. He's like an abominable snowman. Brick Break does knock your ass out, though. Because you ugly as shit. Even though Troll is probably not a like any better looking, you're, you're just ugly as shit. Okay. Well, continuing. Uh, we can go left. Although there's probably... Okay, you can also go right. Well... We're gonna try right first, but damn it, there's an item here, and I feel like I should grab that. Oh wait, no, I can't go up there. What the fuck? All right, well, we're just gonna go down the middle then. Missed out on that item, but that's totally fine. I know some tricks. Want to see them? I sure do. I'm assuming that this next gym is gonna be an ice type gym, but they could just throw us a curveball. Who knows? We got a snow wrong. That snow is looking pretty incorrect. Get it? Cause it's snow wrong. Yeah, I'm fucking. I am an absolute comedian comedic genius beat up your snowman because we're an absolute bully and uh, down you go friend I wonder wonder what the levels are gonna be on this next gym I'm a little bit I'm a little bit afraid not gonna lie good thing we just got a new dragon grass type right in time for all the ice types huh now we have a ton drill and we do see the evolution of our little uh, little drilly boy well that's actually pretty cool I really like this thing a lot we're gonna give you a brick break. It does have drill run, seems pretty fitting, uh, but it does like no damage. We just absolutely eaten it up. At 59, we're in a really good spot here. At least they do, I think, have the trainers at pretty low levels, just so that you can kind of catch up um, on at least training some stuff up to like add to the team. Because we're so high leveled at this point that if you want to add something new, it takes forever, especially if the trainer's really high leveled. But we're looking pretty good here, as Ranja is actually 58 now, so we're going to put you in front, buddy. Troll, getting yourself a little break. And let's continue heading down, as we do have a new area. Well then. Haven't checked a trash can in a while, of course it's empty. Here we have the Frost Hail Forest. So this is actually a new area, so we can catch the first thing we come across. Do you need a rest? Battle me, and if you're able to win, I'll heal your Pokémon. She's like, I'm going to kill your Pokemon first. And if you somehow manage to win, I'll heal him. She has an, what the f an Arctic hair. Uh, so we have seen the pre-evolution of this thing as well. Uh, we're kind of starting to see some of all form, which is cool. Young Arctic hair. Going to just die to a flamethrower because Ranja's OP is hell. And we are going to get to 59 also. I'm feeling pretty good about the team here. We do have like four really high level stuff. But the rest of the team could definitely use some help. I really should do some off-screen grinding, but it just takes so long in this game. And it's like, I just want to I just want to make progress, damn it. Uh, so Ranja at 59, looking good. Um, I don't think I'm going to end up using Ballin, to be honest. It's too low at this point, and I don't know if it's even worth using, because it has really low special defense. But we'll head down yonder. Ha! I'll show you my Icy Bug Pokemon. You got an Icy Bug Pokemon, huh? Ricardo has four Pokemon. He's got a Chrysilla. We have not seen a Chrysilla yet. We're fucking like 20 levels higher than this thing, so we're gonna absolutely melt you. An interesting little bug you got there. I could be using... I could be using different mines at this point. Because we are pretty damn high. Next is a Fiant. We have seen Fiant before. 
Um, let's actually just let Dracula do this one. I was going to go into Happy, but Dracula needs a level instead. Ooh, we're almost level 60 here, too. Haven't seen a Fiant in forever. We're just going to give you a nice little acrobatics, buddy. Level 46. Not too bad. This guy just busting out the fire ants in the ice forest, huh? I like your style, buddy. I like your style. Next is a another Chrysilla. So we'll actually switch here and we'll go into Ranja. Everybody's going to be up to level 60. And that is pretty damn crazy considering we still have two gyms to go. I guarantee you this is going to be one of those games where at the Elite Four it's going to be they're going to have level 100s and it's going to be fucking ridiculous. The after game is going to be impossible. But uh, for some reason, people that make ROM hacks, ROM hacks like to uh, like to do that. It doesn't. I feel like it doesn't make it the game. I mean, it obviously makes the game more difficult, literally. But it's like the level of how much you have to grind is just like, come on. My God, freaking Chris Coon, please die, you little crystal cas cascoon. You wanna be? You got nothing on my boy Silicoon and Cascoon. Just kidding. I think it's way cooler. I actually saw some, um, it was like a poll recently where people voted, like, it was like a lot, like a ton of people, thousands of people voted for, like, their favorite Pokemon, and out of all of them, the entire Pokedex, there was like six of them that didn't get voted for, and I think, like, Cascoon and Silcoon weren't, weren't voted for at all, like, <laughs> nobody's favorite Pokemon are those things, it was pretty funny. I like cross-country skiing through this forest, but I love Pokemon battles, and that makes me wonder, what is your least favorite Pokemon? Come to think of it, I don't really know what my least favorite would be. Probably gonna be like Slurpluff or Spritzy or whatever the hell that one, the Aromatisse, whatever the fuck. I hate those damn things. We got a Sub Barrow. We have not seen a Sub Barrow yet. Uh, that thing looks pretty badass. That looks kind of promising. I wonder if that thing evolves. Ranja is gonna be close to 60. Next is an Apian. Is that evolve? Is that? Have we seen an Apian? What the fuck is that? Okay, maybe... That's weird. This guy, they looked very similar, but they're two different kinds of animals, so I don't know what the hell... Don't know what the dynamic is going on there, but alright, you are strong. Thank you. I appreciate that. I could honestly probably start avoiding trainers at this point. Ooh, we do get an encounter for this place, and it's a snow wrong. I honestly don't want more ice types. Um, so, guess what? Your boy is about to run from that. Screw it. Okay. What else? Uh, I'm almost out of this place. It actually wasn't as long of a journey as I expected. It's got to be an item here. Yep. Ooh, there's a rare candy there. We have not had a lot of rare candies, come to think of it. So that's pretty damn nice. And uh, we're going to not battle you because I'm pretty overleveled here. I just want to get to the gym, beat that ass. Ooh, there's even Puffles here. I could have had a Puffle. I want to beat this next gym so that way I can go and beat the gym that my brother is running. And then we can get into some interesting stuff. What do we have here? A little bit of a puzzle, although it just leads to this guy, and then we can go up. So we're not going to battle him, because heck it. And we got ourselves another our freaking Kiskun. Chris Kuhn. What do you? What does this thing evolve into? Have we seen what this evolves into? Probably haven't been paying enough attention to think about it, but okay. And another border dude. Guess what, buddy? I'm out of here. We do have ourselves a PP Max, which is really nice to get. I wonder if there's anything to the right. I should probably check that out. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Well, that was an interesting little puzzle. Not not the most difficult. What the hell is this? That's just a stump? Who put this stump here? What's going on? I feel like that's an important stump. Although, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Hello? Am I supposed to go up? I am. False alarm. I almost just hopped back down. <laughs> I thought I went the wrong way. It's a little Aurora. I thought you were shiny really quickly because you kind of got some crazy pastel colors going, but that's just your natural fur, and I appreciate that, buddy. Ooh, you look important. What's happening here? Oh, where are you? Uh, hello? I'm not trying to be creepy or anything, just passing by. Haven't you seen a little huck, huck pup around you, have you? No, you mean husk pup? I was playing with my Pokemon in the snow, and a blizzard came out of nowhere and split me and my husk pup up. I'm worried about it because it's so young. Could you help me find it? I guess we're just going to agree to that. My name's Alice, by the way. I will stay here. May it find its way back by itself. If you find my husk pup, just give me a shout. So, okay, she's going to miss a husk pup. It's probably not too far. These people are never very good at looking. 
He's got to be over this way somewhere. No, okay. Just uh, TM91 for Flash Cannon. That is a pretty solid steel move. Um, thought there would be a Husk Pup under the rocks. <laughs> I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll find it. But let's, ta let's talk to this here hiker. See what he's doing. Winter is coming. Hey, Game of Thrones reference? I like it. Good shit. Good shit. Eddard. What kind of name is Eddard? Hey, he's got a Rhinolar. So a little, little uh, ice type rhino boy. He's got some pretty eyes, buddy. Let's see how they like fire. Roasted and toasted. Sorry about that little rhino. I know you're endangered and everything, but I had to do it. What is next? Next is an igloo. But of course it is. And this one's probably going to have sturdy, I'm calling it. Just to be annoying. No, that didn't even knock it out. Oh, fuck, it has rock slide too. <gasps> Knocks us down to 40. That, oh, Jesus, that was scary. Okay, you know what? You know what we're going to do here, Iglo? We're going to switch the hell out of here. My god. Still, being as high leveled as we are, we can't we can't one hit KO this thing. What is that? We have really good special defense. You think that seems like this would have better physical defense, but, you know. Okay, then. Let's just give you a Skull to kill you. And we definitely need to heal up Ranja. That homeboy just about took a rock move and died. Alright. We did see that that thing had a rock move, but I just kind of thought Flamethrower was going to knock it out. Didn't really, didn't really worry about it too much. But apparently I should have been worried. Okay, so there is uh, an item that way. We can go left, though. It's got to be a Husk Pup around. Oh, oh, there's the Husk Pup. We do have to hop down this way, and it's being attacked by some freaking bats so uh, we are gonna have to battle these boys couple of couple of batics is freaking bats favorite vine ever all right flamethrower you and acrobatics you this should do the trick only level 44 so acrobatics freaking destroys you and a flamethrower is gonna do the trick as well there we go don't worry, Husk Pup. I'm here to save you, buddy. Get ourselves some experience, and she comes running. How did you know I was here? You did it. You found my Husk Pup. I sure did. You even spelled the name wrong earlier, but that's fine. Thank you so much. No problem. Well, I had better get going. Husk Pup has had a rough day. Maybe we meet again. You didn't even give me anything? What the hell is that? What a cheap asshole. She doesn't even get... I found you, Husk Pup, and you're just gonna... Just gonna leave me high and dry like that, huh? That's fine. That's totally fine. So we can just head back down over here and we're not too far out of the way as uh, I think down and left is the only way for us to go we're probably close to getting out of this place to be honest puffle get out of my face buddy okay so much slippery ass ice uh, I feel like if we go down here there's gotta be something maybe no no oh, it is a PP up on the tree or just a hidden item behind the tree that's cool we'll take it and nothing that way so that is fine. Now we go like this, and I honestly am not going to battle you. I just want to get out of this damn forest to see what awaits me in this new city. Although there's probably going to... I would assume there's going to be some... Some bad team stuff happening. We haven't really seen them for a while, so... They're probably... They're, they're cooking something up. You can never trust those guys. Every once in a while they'll come through. I feel like they... We're kind of getting to the climax here. They've gotten all the gems and shit that they wanted, right? Yeah, we'll actually battle you. I'm an ace with ice-typed Pokemon. Well, Mrs. Ace, let's see it. Sasha has a Criscoon, of course. Level 48, so, you know, kind of scary, except it's literally just a cocoon, so I don't find myself very afraid of this thing. Especially when you protect. Like, what? You scouting out or what? This damn Criscoon. Trying to see what I'm going for. One more is going to do the trick. We're running out of PP here, though. Although, Ranja is close to level 60. Good girl, Ranja. I mean, you know what I miss? I miss Marvin. I wonder what that boy's up to in Pokemon Heaven and a Sabero. We're just going to go for a flamethrower. We have four of these left. we got to use these bad boys wisely. I, we get into a boss battle here soon. That might not be too good. But Ranja grows to level 60. Groot 42. And you have one more Armand. What you got for me? It is a Puff Peak. Uh, we will actually switch for this Puff Peak. Let's, um... Actually, no, fuck it. We'll just stay in. I'm going to switch up the lead, though. We'll go with Troll in front after this. We're going to use one more Flamethrower. Just because this Puff Peak been looking at me funny. So, you know what, buddy? 
Hope you like fire. Down you go. Just another ace. Yeah, get aced. All right. So let's put young troll in front. I also think I am going to heal. I feel like we're getting close to the end of this forest. And I also am worried as shit about bosses coming at me. So you know what? We're going to super potion. Um, happy seems like a safe bet. And super potion you. Happy's not quite full, but we're missing 10 HP. Screw it. All right. Could have just used that berry juice, to be honest. I am going to look dumb if I just get out of this forest. And then, uh, you know, I didn't need to heal up. But it's better safe than sorry. Okay? I mean, I was just using super potions anyway. So, whatever. We rich, bitch. And we are out of here. Well, okay. Kind of thought there was going to be something crazy happening here. But it did not. So, and there's an empty trash can. It's happening, guy. Welcome to Subhale City. I hope you wear your warmest clothes. I haven't changed my clothes at all. But we have made it to Subhale City. And, uh, look who it is. It's Kira. Hello, Hayden. You made it to Subhale City. It's really freezing here. Be sure you didn't get a, don't get a cold. How about another battle? I think my skills are much better now, and it would be a pleasure to show you. So let's start. Well, okay. I guess it was a good thing I healed, because we now have a rival battle with Kira. And she is a little bit less scary than, uh... And freaking Rodney, but still. Six Pokemon she leads with a Bablis. And that is the Blizzard Boy. So, Ice type Wolu freaking thing. Are right, gonna get an Intimidate? Now we're just gonna Brick Brick you. So, level 54. That is gonna just absolutely destroy you though. Troll does not play games. Hulk Smash. And it's still hailing. Sweet Jesus. Okay, what's next? Next is a Rubyop. Um, so, Rubyop. We don't really want to stay in here. Actually, no, we could. We could go for, could go for our fairy move. But if I miss, that thing's gonna hit me hard with a freaking fighting move. But let's, you know, we're gonna go for it. Ruby up, come here, son. Let me bop you one. Let's go for a Fey Hammer. Uh, so it is actually gonna Ice Punch instead, which doesn't do much. And Fey Hammer. Is powerful as hell. It's gonna knock it out with a crit. Unnecessary critical hit, but that's fine. We do get two level 60 off of that as well. Groot's getting some solid experience. Should probably get Troll out of here. What else, what's next? Next is Cerebus. I do not remember at all what the hell that thing is, so when in doubt, we're going into Happy. Have we seen Cerebus before, or is this something new? What's going on here, Happy? It's, oh, we have fucking seen this thing. Of course we have. It's I, I've only seen it once before, I think. But it's just a little ice cream boy. Well, even though he's a cloud, I call him ice cream. And ice cold crash is going to do the trick. So we went into the right thing anyway. A little flying type thing. Not too shabby. Groot grows to 43. Trilor and Dragon Claw. A. So there we go with a better dragon move. 80 base power. Looking nice. Let's um get the rid of uh, you. And we're good. Alright, next is a horse sush. Um... You can go into Ronja for that thing, right? Horsash, the, the grass type, the grass type lad. Yeah, we are gonna burn you. I did save this flamethrower for you. I had this flamethrower in my back pocket. I was like, I'm gonna use it on that horsash. Ooh, now it's gonna bounce. Um, bounce might actually even hurt a little bit, to be honest. But I think we're gonna, I think we'll be okay. Won't hurt too bad. We're gonna just shadow ball as we hit the air. And miss your bounce. Miss it. Don't paralyze me, please. And it fucking paralyzes me. Of course it does. Well then. One last flamethrower chance, and it's gonna bounce again. You fucking asshole. Well. Um, should we switch into... Well, we can just stay in here. We're gonna finish it off with a Shadow Ball. Oh, Shadow Ball. Yeah. As long as you don't super ultra mega crit me, thank god, and we're fully paralyzed. Dude, Ranja, what the hell? Let's switch here. Let's go into Troll. We're gonna get an Intimidate. We should be okay. Is this thing fucking Fairy-type, though? Am I, afra am I afraid of this? Um, now it's gonna Synthesis. Man. Well. I think we're okay against Torsash. Honestly, I don't, I don't... I'm kind of afraid, though. You know what? We're going into Happy. We're not playing any games. I should know what type this thing is, right? Is it just grass type? Ah, Jesus, it's gonna leap darts. Okay, that does hurt Happy a little bit, but not too bad. We're fine. We're fine. It's totally fine. Hit us three times, and an icicle crash. 
will do the job here. Ooh, it is actually faster getting off some more leaf darts. You dickhead. Please stop that. Please, no. My god, that hurts. But we land the ice school crash. Really risky move going into my water type on that, but uh, you know, it worked out. That's fine. Everything is fine. Next is a Flaro. Flaro? Do I want to stay in here and just heal up? I think I do. I'm going to stay in here. Yeah, because this is just the starter thing, which we don't need to be that worried about. It is mega, though. Oh, Jesus. I wish Happy was at full health here because I have to waste a turn and go for a hyper. Um, so we're going to scout out what this thing's going to go for. Flaro Knight is reacting to the Mega Stone, or Mega Ring. And you'd be looking crazy as hell, so. Ground Fire type. We could just hit this thing with the Scald, and I think we'll be okay. It's level 56, though, which is fucking scary, and that Flamethrower hurts. Oh no, that Flamethrower does way too much. Uh oh, boys. Okay, I could go into Ranja. But that seems risky. Uh oh. I think I got a sack off ballin', lads. <laughs> Ooh, I really wish I was at full health for this matchup with Happy. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I think I gotta sack. I gotta switch into ballin' real quick. We are gonna sack this thing, unfortunately. You hate to see it. It's gonna dusty dash me. It's a good thing I didn't go into Ranja. Alright, yep, dusty dash. Absolutely destroys Ballin. Hate to see it. I'm sorry, buddy. And now I can get a free switch. I could go into Troll to at least intimidate it. I think I could take an attack with Troll, too. Or do I just go into Dracula? Get off a couple crunches. See how much Flamethrower does to Dracula? Oh, man. This is bad. This is bad news. Bad news. Um... I'm going to go into Troll because Intimidate, I mean, it, it isn't going to help us out with the Flamethrower, but I do think that probably worth it to go for a Bulldoze here. It is going to Flamethrower us, please. Oh, we live in with 42. We live in, boys. And the Bulldoze does knock it down to nearly half. We also get a Speed Drop, which don't know if that really matters too much, but my god, Troll just about died. We do need to Hyper. Gonna get you back to full. The thing is, though, this thing... What? She's switching. Going into the Pixel Lily. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Goes into the Pixel Lily. Um, I'm sure I can take an attack from this thing. Maybe? Do I want to risk that? Level 55. It's going to hit me hard with a fairy move. I just need to get happy back to full so I can knock out that damn thing. I don't really want to go into Dracula, because... Fuck, man. I'm gonna go into Ranja here. I think that Ranja can take an attack, and then I can get back to full. Mystic Wave. That sounds scary. Okay, that doesn't do much. We're good. So, what we need to do here is we're going to Hyper Potion... We can take another attack with Ranja, so we went, you know what, we're going to give one to Happy. This is spooky, man. I was just going to Mystic Wave again. Okay, fine. That's totally fine. We live in that. Thank you for switching. That actually really really helped me out. Okay. Um, and now... Do I just go into Happy here? I don't... Because I could... My defense just dropped. I think we're just going to go into Happy. I could bring this thing in. We will be at good enough health. We're going to make sure that we end up this matchup with enough to take on that damn... Ooh, fucking thing's going to Quiver Dance. Oh, shit. Okay. Did not expect Quiver Dance. But at least... I know that... Okay, Bug Buzz, how much does that do? With the Quiver Dance... Oh my god, it does too much. Shit on my tits. This is bad. We do need to go for a Quick Attack here to finish it off. But, dude, now she's just going to go into that... Ooh, that damn thing again. Oh, shit. Well, I need to finish this thing off with the Quiver Dance. It's incredibly scary. We are just going to quick attack you for the knockout. And down you go. And there's that flare -o. Okay. Um, let's go into Troll. We're going back into Troll because I know we can take an attack. 
And we can hit it with another bulldoze. But it just doesn't quite knock it out, which is super annoying. I'm gonna lower that attack again. And, um... This thing was ground fire, right? Yeah, I believe, yeah. So we're gonna bulldoze, yeah. Yes. There's the flamethrower. Please, thank you, God. We actually could take another one. If we got lucky. Get that speed drop. But I don't feel lucky. So you know what? We're gonna hyper potion. Dude, this is fucking... Why is this so scary? I think I need to switch into, Dra into Dracula here. Yeah, it's just gonna continue to flamethrower. We're gonna be at a little bit of a stalemate here. Yep, see that? That one would've killed. We're gonna switch into Dracula because I can take one flamethrower. And then I can outspeed and finish it off. Let's hope that this happens. There is the flamethrower. Yep, we live in. Alright. Thank you, Dracula. And a crunch is gonna do it. Whew. Man. I feel like I, I play worse when I'm this worried about shit dying. At level 60, if one of my Pokemon dies, it's like losing a damn family member, man. I enjoyed it. You know, I sure did too. Wow, you're still too strong for me. But don't you think I've become much stronger? Let me heal. Alright. Well, thank you. TY for the heals. So I think I will go to the Subhale Ice Caps first. That's a really nice area to catch an Ice type Pokemon. You will love it. See ya. Well, alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to check out what's going on in this city next time. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed, or else Troll will come to your house and beat you up in your sleep with this Ultra Ball. Peace out, guys.